Hi guys, so today we're going to be discussing the topic of cat litter and whether or not it's safe for use with hamsters and other small rodents. Now generally speaking, cat litter is very dangerous for rodents, however there are one or two exceptions which I'm going to talk about in a moment. When we think about cat litter, we typically think of clay, rock or crystal cat litter. That's the cat litter that comes in small grains that clumps together when your cat does its business on it. This is the stuff that's dangerous for all small pets, not just rodents, but rabbits and guinea pigs as well. So why is it so dangerous? Well that kind of cat litter is so popular to use with cats because of how easily it is to clean up. It all clumps together when it gets wet or when it gets soiled and you can just scoop it out and throw it away. The fact that the litter clumps together into a tight and usually rock hard ball is where the problems lie because rodents and small animals typically ingest a small amount of their substrate or bedding and that's very normal. When they ingest safe substrates like Aspen or Carefresh or paper bedding, that's fine because it goes straight into their stomach acids and it breaks down like a normal bedding would. Now we all know the problems with cotton bedding is that it doesn't break down in the stomach and that's one of the reasons it can be so dangerous, well cat litter is a whole new level of danger. If your small pet starts to eat that cat litter, it's going to start to moisten in their mouths and in their throats. And when it starts to moisten, it starts to clump together to form a very hard, solid mass. This solid mass is either going to become stuck in your hamster's cheek pouches, they're not going to be able to remove it because it's going to become lodged in there as it becomes a solid mass. It's going to become stuck in the throat where it will suffocate or choke your pet or worse still it will become stuck together when it reaches the stomach or lower intestines and when it starts to clump together down that part you'll see a lot of problems things like bloating, loss of appetite and lack of feces. Your pet will not be able to pass any feces because their intestines will be blocked up with solid lumps of cat litter and this is very deadly. If your hamster cannot pass feces, it is going to have some serious health problems and it absolutely will have to go straight to a vet. Now, if the blockage isn't too bad, the vet should be able to prescribe some medication to clear the blockage. It should go straight through their system and then they should be back to normal within a couple of weeks. However, in the most severe of cases, it will require an operation to remove. They would have to have their lower abdomen and their intestines cut into and the clumps of cat litter would have to be physically removed. With larger animals, this isn't such a risky operation, but with small animals, especially animals like hamsters, mice and rats, this kind of operation is almost never done because of the high risks that it involves. So whereas cat litter can be an absolute lifesaver when it comes to cleaning up after your cats, it can be a death sentence for a smaller animal. So does that mean we can't use any cat litter whatsoever for hamsters and small animals? No, no it doesn't. It just means you can't use anything that advertises as clumping. Anything that says clumping on the packaging or that it will turn into a solid mass or anything like that, that's the stuff that's dangerous and that you want to stay away from. But there is another market of cat litter and that is the biodegradable cat litter, the stuff that breaks down when it gets wet. There are two kinds of cat litters that do this that we know are absolutely safe to use with all small animals and those are wood pellet cat litters, also called wood based cat litters and paper pellet cat litters, again called paper based cat litters. So I actually have a bag of wood based cat litter here and if you're interested in the brand this is actually Tesco's own brand. We don't have a Tesco's in Cyprus, this country doesn't have one. For some reason some of our shops sell Tesco stuff. Don't know why, but this is the Tesco's own brand one and it's just a generic wood based cat litter and I will show you exactly what it looks like and it is literally just a bag of wood pellets and that's all it is. The paper pellets look pretty similar, they're just made of paper instead and that stuff is safe because if your hamster does ingest it, it's just going to break down in their normal digestive system just like anything else would. So do I actually recommend using cat litter in a hamster or small rodent's cage? 
Not as your first option. There are two circumstances in which you may want to use wood or paper cat litter. The first is if you have a long-haired Syrian with a very long skirt, because they often get tangled up in all other substrates, and wood-based and paper-based cat litters tend not to tangle in their skirts, and you don't have so many grooming problems. The second situation is the one we were in a year ago, and that's if your country does not sell any kind of safe substrates. This year, our country, Cyprus, has just started selling Aspen quite freely in quite a few pet shops, so we are so happy about that. But before we could get hold of that, the only options we had were pine, which of course we all know is very bad, or wood-based cat litter. So we went for the wood-based because that was the only safe option available to us, and that is pretty much the only other option uh, that I would say is a, a good time to use wood-based or paper-based cat litter in your cage, only because it's not as comfy as other small animal substrates. It's also very expensive in comparison to other substrates like aspen or hemp substrates, things like that. So I don't necessarily recommend it as a first choice, but if you don't have other options or you have a very long-haired Syrian, it's definitely a good choice for you. So there we are, that's the discussion of cat litter. Remember, nothing clumping, it is deadly, but if it's a biodegradable one like wood pellets or paper pellets, it is safe to use. One easy way of testing out whether your cat litter is safe or not, get a small pile of it, pour a little bit of water on it, let it dry, see what happens to it. If it breaks down into a powder or if it breaks down into small pieces, it is safe to use. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you know of anyone who is using cat litter and you know they shouldn't be, why don't you send them this 